uh, looking at anything as simple as the recent closure of certain a &E departments, um, some people do find that a serious problem. It means much longer travelling times to get to an a &E department if they have a problem, which means that sometimes they might ignore uh, any kind of symptom that might be critical, might be really important, might lead to overall poorer health. Uh, but that's more recent thing that we need to see watch unfold. Uh, but some other things that have happened relatively recently, but long enough ago for us to see the effects of, is things like the closure of um, things like swimming baths, for example, uh, and other health facilities as well. Um, the, again, I keep referring to this one place, but a certain area that we studied last year um, had had a local uh, gym closed, which meant that the people had, didn't have anywhere they could go for health uh, to to try and be healthy in terms of physical fitness, in terms of doing their exercise, they didn't really have many local free what, uh, recreational spaces that they were comfortable going to, um, because of the violence and uh, gang culture present in the area. Um, at the same time, uh, in my own experience, when I was younger, our local swimming baths closed, which meant that a lot of people that I knew, including myself, um, had problems with that that was our Saturday ruined basically. We used to go every week to the swimming baths. That was how we would start off our Saturday. Uh, and then this meant that we'd rather just stay home and play a video game because it was either that or take a bus and then go swimming and then take a bus and get back home. And uh, nobody could be bothered to do that.